Hey guys, the Monster Number 34 here, back with a review. We've got Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Barricade. Now, um, this barricade is a completely new mold, which is awesome. Um, and overall, it's a very, very nice figure. Much better than the original, in my opinion. Um, I don't have the original to show off, um, but what I will say is that it is much smaller. I'm going to take that neck tech off. He is much smaller than um, the original barricade. Um, by about a centimetre, I would say. Um, I mean, this guy is really small. He's definitely one of the smallest Dark of the Moon figures I've actually got. Uh, let me just do a quick comparison with Skids. Um, Skid is kind of high, but Barricade um, is kind of short, but he's much smaller than um, the original Barricade. So that's Skid is the only deluxe I've actually got around me at the moment. Um, but, you know, just he's a very nice little figure. Um, he's had a lot of um, changes. Um, to the overall look of the vehicle mode. Um, he's got a nice white spoiler now. Um, this was white before, this is now silver. Um, the silver 643, this is 643 on the side, which the original don't didn't have, I don't, I don't think. Um, obviously it still says to punish and to enslave, just on the side. Um, so that's nice. And he also has the kind of um, the Decepticon police badge, which I really, really like the look of. Um, you know, overall, just a very, very nice little deluxe. And obviously, he's got a mech tech weapon. He's got a little port there. Oops. Don't drop it. And you can just peg that in there. And it looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm not too terribly sure why. You know, I'm, I really don't like this. This mech tech gun is probably my least favourite. Um, I mean, the Gatling gun's okay. But, you know, the actual gimmick sort of sucks. Um, he's got kind of this claw rake thing. Um... It's like a garden rake, um, and that just kind of springs back in. But sometimes mine stays out, which is kind of annoying. Um, it just, it doesn't feel like it's good quality. This the mech tech weapon doesn't feel like it's you know good quality. Um, I don't like it. Um, I just like to have it as a Gatling gun. The Gatling gun looks okay. But another thing that I don't like about it is that he actually can't hold it in robot mode because he's got my copy of the figure has got really really weak legs, so he'll just fall over as soon as you put the mech tech in his hand, which kind of sucks. Anyway, that's about it for uh, Barricade's vehicle mode. Um, as I said, he's really small. Um, so let's get him transformed. Now the transformation is much different to what the original was. Um, he's got a few similarities in in um, where the doors just all pull out, um, the side of the car pulls out, but that's about it. Other than that, the transformation is completely new and, you know, just very, very nice. I do like the transformation. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unpeg these pieces, just like that. That's a bit like the original, except they go backwards this time. The original pulled out forwards, these go backwards, like that. Then you want to kind of lift these up a little bit, um, then you can pull these forward, um, like that. Pull them backwards, then pull them forwards. Then we're going to take this piece, lift it up. And then I will say that the transformation is quite messy. Um, it's just kind of pieces all over the place. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm going to rotate these arms around now. We'll rotate them around now. Um, then unpeg that from there. And then this leg section will all just pull out from under there. Like that. Now, I really don't like the way the legs transform. They are kind of fiddly and, you know... I just don't like the way the legs transform. I'm going to lift those up. Um, and mine has a major problem. He can't stand up under his own weight. I mean, you know, you really have to get in position properly. Um, I'm not sure if that's just mine, but, you know, that's that's lucky. But usually, um, as soon as you put his mech tech in his hand, he can't actually stand up under his own weight. Anyway, we're going to rotate the waist around. Well, what will be the waist. Rotate that around, so that's out of the way. Um, I'm going to take this piece the um, front bumper and this will kind of rotate around to give that really nice crunched bumper look that you had in the film so I really really like that, that's a really nice little feature that it didn't have to add in but they did and it really works um, yeah then we're going to take this um, you have to take this back piece and this kind of angles off and you've got to make sure the back piece is in first so that kind of pegs on there um, I'm going to take this that'll peg in there really nicely um, I don't like how all this is white, um, but I'll show more of that in robot mode. Um, then this piece will just kind of fold over, there's a little peg there and a peg there. That'll peg in, and you hear that snap, I'm going to lift up these um, little window panels. And I'm going to fold out his hand, fold out the hand, um, then come around here, I'm going to rotate this piece, or try to, um, like that. This piece can kind of angle, and that'll free up a little bit of articulation. 
Um, you can kind of angle these however you want. And these will just push up onto um, the side of his chest. Same again. Um, rotate this around. Like that. That kind of angles out. That frees up some movement in the forearm. And there is Barricade. Almost in robot mode. You really have to get the legs situated properly. Um, one thing I've found is that the feet don't rotate out far enough. They only rotate kind of like that, so he's always got the chicken leg. And, you know, if you rotate them out too far, they'll just pop off. So, it really kind of sucks. I, I'm not too sure I like the legs. The legs are kind of annoying. Um, but once you do get him standing up, you do have a very, very nice, movie-accurate barricade. I mean, it looks really nice. Um, you know, obviously there are a few little nitpicks that I have. One being that he is way too short for a deluxe. Um, I'm trying to find a deluxe that I can compare him with, but he is very small um, compared to usual deluxes. And also, I don't like how he basically he's got no waist. You know, he's got no waist, hardly. Um, it's just kind of the legs and the torso. It's all legs. So, um, I think the first movie one was like that, but it was, you know, less obvious. Um, because it was actually painted black. This is painted white, and I'm not too sure why they went with white around here. It kind of looks like he's wearing a diaper, um, or a nappy, or whatever the hell you call it. Um, I, I'm not too sure how I like the waist part. But other than that, it is a fairly nice update to the original um, movie barricade. Definitely better than the original. Um, the original was good, but this one's definitely more movie accurate, um, in the sense that, um, well, he's got, he's got better arms, basically. Um, the arms, he's got movement, you know, he's got ball joints, he's got um, a little hinge um, ball joint here. You know, he's, he hasn't got that retarded gimmick anymore where his hand would kind of shoot off. Um, his head has got some really nice articulation, he's got a ball joint, it can rotate. Um, so that's really nice. And also the head's been painted very, very nicely. I will say that that is probably the best painted head sculpt I've seen in a while. Um... Just very, very nice. Really nice gold paint apps around there. He's got some nice silver and he's got the really awesome looking red eyes. I really, really like that. And he's obviously got some nice silver paint apps in the bumper. Um, or the kind of switched out bumper. Um, he's got some more decals in there that I forgot to show off in vehicle mode. He has some purple. And that is the same purple that they used on Shockwave. Um, for parts of Shockwave. Um, and he's got some purple on his crotch. Or diaper, whatever the hell you call it. Um... But, you know, it does have some nice paint apps, and I do like I do like the figure. Okay, so I pulled a figure out for size comparison. Here he is just next to the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Um, you can see the size difference, and I'm really not too sure how I feel about this. Um, in the movie, Barricade was a little bit bigger than Bumblebee, I, I think. Um, but, you know, there's just... The scale is just way off. And it's all because of these fucking little mech tech weapons. These mech tech weapons suck. Um, I did like them at first. I like them on a few characters. Roadbuster's got an awesome mech tech weapon. Um, you know, Ratchets is good. But other than that, all the other ones, all the other Dark of the Moon figures end up suffering because of this crappy little gimmick that, you know, no one even plays with, I don't think. So, you know, uh, uh, rambling, but still, I don't like this mech tech. This mech tech sucks. And I will show you what happens when you try to put the mech tech in his hand. Um, he's got crappy hands, well they're not crappy hands, they're actually quite awesome, but he can't actually hold the mech tech with them properly. Um, and you know, you put it in his hand and it'll fall over. Because this joint here, on his feet, are so loose, he can't stand up whilst he's holding the mech tech or he'll just kind of fall down. So, that's that. He's got mech tech ports up here, um, on the wheels up here. Um, so, you know, you can store it, but it looks ridiculous, so... Yeah, but anyway, that's about it for Barricade's vehicle mode, um, robot mode, sorry. Um, whoa. Vehicle mode is robot mode. That's about it for his robot mode, so let's get him transformed back to vehicle mode. Okay, so to transform him, what we're going to do is going to flip up the hands. Like that, and the transformation is a little bit fiddly, so bear with me. Rotate these pieces around. Get the. I like to get the, um, the arms done first. Like that, rotate them around. Um, then... We are going to flip up the feet, rotate these pieces around, like that. You have to rotate them around on the ball joint as well. Um, and then these feet will peg together, sort of. Rotate that around, and just try and get everything pegged together. But, you know, because the legs suck so badly, 
Um, it's really fiddly to get the legs done. The legs just piss me off. I don't like them. Um, then what we can do is going to lift this up. I'm going to unpeg this like that. I can get this all situated however you like it. Rotate these around. Well, not however you like it. You have to do it this way. Rotate these back. And then with the legs, um, try and get them you know, as straight as you can. Try and peg that together. Um, then, I'm going to take this and try and get it in there. And this, this is also the part of the transformation that pisses me off. Um, but anyway, once you get it in there, it will stay. And you can fold this down. Um, then you can take these pieces, fold these little windows down. Like that, just have them together. Try to. It's really kind of fiddly. Like that. Switch out the bumper. And there is Barricade back in vehicle mode. Focus. Overall, I do think it's a really cool figure. Um, but a few things let it down. But I do still recommend it. Because it is, in my opinion, better than the original. But obviously he's got a few things that let him down. Like the size, the legs. Hopefully that the leg problem is only just on mine. Um, not on all the other ones. So, um, I do recommend him. Um, kind of sub recommend him, mildly recommend him. Um, you know, it's really up to you, but you know, that's my opinion on the figure. Um, anyway, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.